Two weekends in a row, let's go. Too hyped, too hyped boys. Two weekends in a row. I know, big accomplishment boys. Uploading twice without disappearing for three months. Anyway, welcome back to another video guys. We hit 4,000 million likes for hitting this, this upload streak. Guys, I'm really proud of it. That was really loud. Uh, anyway, today we're gonna be reacting to one of my favorite Twitter accounts. Literally, probably the best Twitter account on the platform. Uh, truly amazing, my Twitter account. It's, it's my Twitter account. Link in the description. And it's amazing and that's why it has a whopping 279 followers. This actually isn't gonna be me like tooting my own horn kind of thing, it's gonna be Okay, it's kind of me tweeting my own horn. It's gonna be kind of like looking back at old tweets kind of thing. I'm gonna try to get really far down there because they're really dumb, like really dumb. Like if someone didn't understand my sarcasm and followed my Twitter account, they would just think I'm, they would just think I'm the dumbest thing that has ever existed ever, which I know, super entertaining. I just don't have enough footage for a vlog. So if you're one of my friends, let's go do something crazy so I have footage for the vlog for next weekend. Anyway, let's just get into it. My most recent is <laughs> Florida is just permanent GTA. One hour ago. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong though. Nightmare Fuel. What if the movie theaters actually started playing the, f the movies when they said they were going to? That's fair, because everyone always shows up like 10 minutes late and it's still playing ads. But what if they just decided to mix it up on you and you show up 10 minutes late and the movie is started 10 minutes ago? That's terrifying. I'm gonna have nightmares about that one. So off to a great start already. I only listen to 6 9 while I play Minecraft. I don't think I need to explain that one. I think. That's pretty self-explanatory. I was eating McDonald's and I got really sad because I ran out of food, but then I remembered I hadn't touched my fries yet and my night has been made. I promise none of these are made up and that, that's actually, I was just so hyped about it. I was so excited about it that I thought it was a, a good idea to tweet it out. And it actually got three likes, which is like pretty good for me. So, so maybe I just need to tweet about my obnoxious love for food more often. You've heard of spell I cup, but now get ready for spell I hop because it's I C U P and people say, ew, you see me P. That used to be the joke. And then I said, <laughs> I, I H O P. Funny. That's funny. That's good. Um, <laughs> yeah. Comedy gold. What color is a tennis ball? This still messes me up, and clearly you couldn't decide either because it's almost 50-50. Uh, team yellow, where you at, guys? <laughs> team yellow. What color is a tennis ball? I'm gonna name my kid Bruh, short for Debra. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I really, I don't want you guys to be like, wow, he's so full of himself. Like, he's so like, he thinks he's so much funnier than he is. But the, the level of dumb that these tweets are is just like my favorite thing ever. And it didn't get any likes. No one liked that one. I'm going to like that one. Go you, Tim. That, that's a good tweet. Most genius. Oh, yeah. This list is not satirical at all. I meant this. The most genius TV shows of all time are Malcolm in the Middle, Star Trek The Next Generation, Breaking Bad, SpongeBob, Stargate. Favorite TV shows ever. I forgot. Game of Thrones. And at game. There we go, dude. They better like that tweet. I just watched a kid pull out literally 25 paper towels to dry his hands. That's a true story. I went to the bathroom and this kid literally would, like washed his hands and then just went whoo, 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 and like kept pulling out paper towels, which just would not stop. And it was obnoxious. How come if you say that blows or that sucks, it means the same thing? That I still am confused about. Say someone's like, oh, my dog got hit by a car. You can be like, oh, that blows. Or, oh man, I'm sorry, that sucks. And it means the same thing, even though inherently they should be opposites, shouldn't they? I'm just saying. <laughs> this is funny. Literally every photo taken by newer phones looks like a piece of art. But Android phones is just abstract art. Because like, I don't know, I feel like with new phones, like with how good cameras are getting, literally anything could be like a professional photo. Like, look at that. I took a picture of me and my dad eating Chick-fil-A and it just looks like a piece of art. Here's my dad looking fly as heck, dude. How this came up was me and my friends were taking pictures of something I forgot and then my, one of my friends had an Android and it was just like not it just didn't work this actually made me mad so this really cute old couple cut in front of me in line while, while at a hotel I was really mad but then we had a nice conversation about their younger days real friendly people you're still gonna catch these hands though I was on a trip for track and we were like out of town we were staying at a hotel for a track meet that was far away waiting in line for the waffle maker at the like it was like an all-you-can-eat buffet but they didn't make anything for you you kind of made it yourself and so there's one waffle maker so you have to get the battery you pour it in there you close it you wait for it to beep and then you have your own waffle but there's only one for all those kids having breakfast. And so I'm waiting in line and finally I'm up next and this older couple comes out of nowhere, gets their batter, pours it in there and then just stares at me. And I was like, like, I think they just think they're invincible because they're old. Like, no, no, Darla, I'm still going to hit you and you're going to need to get another hip surgery. Do you really want that? Craig, I'm going to hit the last hair that you have left on your head off. You don't get it. You don't get in the way of a man and his waffles. That was evil. That was rude. That was uncalled for. This is true. Also, this was on the bus to that place. And, it, and this kid was like, dude, are you playing Minecraft? And then this, the kid that was playing Minecraft was like, no, I'm texting my girlfriend, Brayden. And you just hear like the block breaking noise. It was really funny. This is, this one tripped me out. Okay. Well, how did they measure years before BC was made? Because like, okay, say you're an ancient Roman and you're in Rome and it's 50 BC and you say what year is it what do they say they can't say 50 BC because then you're like what's 50 BC and they're like oh before Christ and you're like who's Christ like you don't know who it is because it's before so how do you measure years answer that question to me I dare you I literally dare you I make the face of the emoji I'm looking for the entire time I'm looking for it it's an actual problem like say I'm looking for the slightly frown emoji I will literally the whole time swiping through the emojis trying to find out I'll be like 
you know, I'll be making that emoji. So I'm getting ready for bed, so I decide to clean my glasses, but I can't find them. I literally searched my whole house, but eventually I found them. My face. They were on my face. <laughs> um, <laughs> true. Facts. The haters say I don't have a life, but at least I have a chest full of diamonds. Fire. Fire tweet. Don't at me. Creeper hoodie up. Gamer head eight. I meant headset. On. Light up. Sketchers. Oh yeah, it's Minecraft time. <laughs> You know what, we're just gonna skip over that one. Not my proudest tweet, we're gonna move on. Found an absolute poem in the comments section. Have the age 21 G Fuel Malt Licky call Mickey's Green Bottle with Hornet when you're feeling like a hobo bath. That's an actual comment I got. <laughs> well, at least I know I'm not the dumbest person on the internet. I love this meme. Only people 200 IQ can understand this meme. I'm not even gonna explain it. If you understand it, comment RDP. I'm just saying. Oh yeah, and then sometimes I just tweet out random pictures from my camera roll with no context. Oh, this one's good. I put the hoe in homo. I just tweeted that out. I put the hoe in homo. <laughs> Why? Why'd I tweet that? <laughs> I just got a massive urge to buy a massive spoon, which is true. I actually just wanted a massive spoon, so I tweeted, give me the spoon. And then I started looking up giant spoons, uh, and I couldn't find any big spoons, except for this one, but it's $54 and I'm not about to buy. And see, random picture from my camera roll with no context. So my ringtone is the Roblox oof, right? My ringer is at max, so my alarm wakes me up in the morning. And someone just called me during a test. That's true. Okay, so my, my ringtone is the Roblox oof. You can ask any of my friends. Anytime I get a text, it's, <gasps> it's actually that, okay? And I have my ringer at literally max volume because otherwise my alarm doesn't wake me up. And so I'm in the middle of a test and then in the middle of a silent room while everyone's taking a test, you just hear oof, oof. It was bad, it was really bad. This one's good. Because I was actually hurt because my friends all started a Minecraft world without me. <laughs> True colors have come out today. Message is loud and clear. Ties are officially cut. I'll miss you, brother. I'm still not over to them playing Minecraft without me, but it's whatever. No, I don't even care. It's fine. I'm a gamer's right activist. I fight in the hopes of ending the oppression that us gamers fight. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna skip over that one. <laughs> Dr. Phil has had enough dealings with these annoying kids. The ranch isn't enough. And look at him. He's holding a flipping flamethrower in front of an American flag. Tell me that's not dope. Okay, can I have a sip of your drink? Okay, first of all, I have herpes. <laughs> I don't actually have herpes, and I'm also not gay. I just want to make two of those tweets clear. <laughs> I don't mind people stealing sips of my drink, but I do mind when they're like, hey, can I have a sip of your drink? And I'm like, yeah, sure. And they're just like, <laughs> and they just don't stop. They just they drink half my drink. And I was like, can I have some of my drink? I don't know how long you think a sip is. Definitely not that long. So if I could have maybe one sip of my drink that I bought, that would be great. That'd be awesome. But no, 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 no. Yeah, you can take what you need, dude. I'm just, I'm just your liquid holder. That sounds weird. I didn't. Okay, we're going to move on. This, I stand by. Hey, Spotify, you should add a feature to group listen to songs slash playlists in sync with your friends. Thank you. I stand by that. Spotify, please do that. Me, when my mom asked why my grades are so bad knowing full well, it's because I haven't done any homework in three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I was proud of this meme, please. I was. I thought it was a good meme, and it got two likes and one comment. Let's see what the comment is. Oh, me saying, Guys, I was proud of this meme, please. Oh my gosh, dude. Nostalgia. Curious George was my thing. If you guys watch Curious George, you never knew no was around to be Big adventure or brand new friend When you're curious I like curious y'all Alright, that's my favorite thing ever I just had four bowls of cereal for no reason Help, that's true Also, last night, literally last night at 3am I had a half a pizza Like, not, not a half a slice of pizza A half pizza Who let, okay, who let TSA design their own emoji? <laughs> we built too many walls and not enough bridges Isaac Newton A tweet from Donald Trump himself And I said, wait a minute <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna lie guys, this tweet was a lie. I have not cried in like four years, five years. I don't know, I can't remember the last time I cried. But if you haven't seen a tribute to Minecraft, watch that. Why are so many of my tweets about Minecraft? I just realized that. ACT memes, I'm not even gonna go over them because I feel like most of you guys wouldn't understand them. But trust me guys, for any of you that live in the US, when you take your ACT, there will be a bunch of memes about it and it's just the best thing ever. And because you feel so special because only you understand them. Like t these don't make any sense to anyone who didn't take the, the ACT this year. Old people when they eat personal peaches, when your kids keep asking to go to restaurants with no character, I mean, you get to a restaurant and just have a a license plate that makes a hundred percent sense to anyone who took the act this year and no one else so you're part of like an elite group so i'm but i'm not even going over those i'm getting a face tattoo tomorrow that's just that's just a lie i don't know why i tweeted that <laughs> this man waited a whole year for this singular joke i appreciate the dedication here look take the pj he makes really dope videos what's the most important thing when it comes to telling a joke timing and he literally tweeted that a year apart i was like bro how do you mind is blown Happy President's Day. Please take time to reflect on our presidents, as one does on President's Day. That was a joke because we have President's Day, but no one actually, like, what's the point of President's Day? Old people love saying who's winning when they see someone play a game of solitaire. That's true. Bacon right after you brush your teeth. <laughs> what? I don't remember most of these tweets. What time was it? It had to have been like late at night. It was 9.56 a.m. Never mind. Maybe I was just actually having bacon right after I brushed my teeth and that's why I tweeted that. I don't know. They're making a spin-off of Spongebob. I have very mixed emotions. I don't remember tweeting that. And I don't remember. I completely forgot about that. But here we are. Holy crap. This was just me being depressed because of all the Opportunity Rover stuff. Like, tell me this isn't sad. 
Because if you don't know, I know, there was a Mars rover that we sent to Mars. It was supposed to be a 90 day mission and it turned into 15 years. It turned into 15 years. And so it died and everyone was like just depressed about it because we i don't know it just seems so human nine days to go two days until i'm home maybe i didn't do a good enough job maybe if i do a really good job they'll let me come home day 857 out of 90 i thought i analyzed that rock really well okay i'll do the next one better and then he got stuck in a sandstorm this is true and then he got stuck and then he died because his solar panels got covered up in sand moment of silence for oppie the opportunity rover so i stood up too fast and got really dizzy and had an existential crisis help that is 100 percent true so i'm laying in bed and my dad's like dinner's ready so i stand up and then go into the bathroom to wash my hands before i eat so i get all lightheaded so i was looking at the mirror in the bathroom washing my hands and i just looked at myself and i was like bro like i'm this is me like i don't know how to put it i promise i don't do drugs but i was like dude i'm just a brain inside this body i don't know i don't want to i don't know oh yeah this tweet thing just made me really uncomfortable because it was Elon Musk flirting with a planet. So someone tweeted something at Mars and then they said, I don't want you, only Elon. So then Elon said, I want you too, baby. And then Mars said, when are you coming over, babe? And then Elon said, send me hot pics and I'll be right over. And he sent a picture of Mars. And then Elon Musk said, thank goodness it's not November. I am, I hate that conversation. I hate reading that. I don't, oh, but now it's burned into your eyes too. This one was cool. Look at this upside down. And I spelt it upside down. Look at that, dude. That's so cool. I'm impressed at myself. Cup holders are cups for cups. Facts. When you're home alone and you're scared of being alone, you're not actually scared of being alone. You're scared of not being alone. Facts. No one has ever been in an empty room. Facts. Yeah. Okay. Also, also today I've had, this is, this is an example of like an average day for me. I had two pancakes, three pop tarts, two McChickens, one, one half of a quarter pounder, one medium fry and two bowls of Lucky Charms. And just so you know, this wasn't an off day. Yesterday I had bacon, egg and cheese McGriddle, but then I was still hungry. So I got a chocolate croissant from Starbucks and then I had lunch with my dad and then me and my dad went to the movie. So I had a whole thing of medium popcorn and then I had Chick-fil-A with my friends for dinner. And then I came home that night, had a bowl of Lucky Charms and then, you know, 3 a.m. I had half a pizza. So, so basically moral of the story, I'm going to die of diabetes anyway i hope you enjoyed that video it was a really stupid video it was just me reading through tweets if you guys want me to read like older older tweets i like go deeper i would love to so let me know thank you guys so much for watching you're the bomb sorry this video wasn't like super crazy or super entertaining but i want to get a vlog up next weekend anyway thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all later bye